Hey folks, it's good to see you again. As you can tell, we are in the truck, and you know what that means, right? It means it's getaway day. We've had a nice stay here in Fort Collins, Colorado, but today we are headed to Montana. All the way through Wyoming. All the way through Wyoming, and where are we going in Montana? Gary Owen, Montana, and I imagine none of you have ever heard of that little town. Yeah, big metroplex, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna, we've got kind of a long drive today, and we're not used to making that long of a drive, but I know I've said that before, but today we are, and Linda has called ahead, and there's some complications. Well, actually, the RV park called me. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. they're very, very nice, and yeah. they called me. That's very thoughtful. I mean, yes. Very, yeah. So they called and said there are some complications up there because of the virus, so we've had to adjust our schedule slightly. But the great thing about that is we always know the Lord is in control, so whatever, it's going to work out. So yes. we're excited about getting on the road. And so it will be nice to find out what we're going to actually be in the middle of up there and what we're going to see. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take you along mm -hmm. and uh, we will just wait and see if those lemons turn into lemonade. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and do that. Just hit the subscribe button there and then hit the bell and uh, you'll be notified of all future videos. Thanks for coming along and we're ready to start this truck up and head out. It was a long drive, but the scenery was spectacular all the way to the 7th Ranch RV camp. In Gary Owen, Montana. Big metropolis. Yes, and a sin, a Chip and Sandy are were brand new owners of the park when we arrived. And it's very neat, as you can see from these pictures, and very organized. Yeah, it's... It's laid out nice as a park. Mm -hmm. And the roads were, uh, it's all gravel. You're parked on gravel spots. We had a pull-through full hookup for $43.20. Uh, that was with good Sam per night. Uh, we felt that was worth it. You can walk up a hill behind the park. That's where we are taking these pictures. And it was an, and a nice overlook, which you're supposed to be able to see the Battle of Little Bighorn from there, but we couldn't see it. This pic may not really show it, but there were beautiful rolling green hills in every direction. And you can walk up like we said on the hill behind the park and see the flag they have flying there. And they also have a cross up there and you can look back down to the campground. Uh, we uh, came to Gary Owen in the first place for the Battle of the Little Bighorn reenactment. And, the, and, then, and then we got the bad news. Yes, the call that said the whole park was closed. And, of course, the reenactment was not going to happen. And uh, this is the bathhouse here and where the restrooms are also at. And the side of that is the, uh, the playground for the children. There weren't any children, I don't think, there while we were there. Uh, and there was beautiful sunsets and sunrises every day. We enjoyed our time there and certainly would recommend it. We did take a day trip to the Yellowtail Dam, which is in the Bighorn Canyon. It's the Bighorn River that you're seeing here. It was quite a drive out there, but it yeah. was beautiful. It was further than we thought, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. and that is the Yellowtail Dam there. And of course, you can't get to it now. Be after 9-11, they're not allowing anyone up to the dam Uh but it was beautiful, and the colors and everything around there were wonderful. And We've, we found a park ranger that was really yes, helpful. Uh -huh. Nice young man that uh, was very helpful. And you can see the canyon here. And what all did he tell us, Bruce, uh, the ranger? Well, the big thing about the river was, and this was surprising, he said, and I assume it's true, that this is the number one fishing place in the entire state of Montana. More people come here to fish than anywhere else in Montana. And we did see loads of fishermen, so that must have been true. Really nice young man. And it was just a beautiful area, and we were amazed at the swans. He told us in the area by the dam where we were, there were 200 there right before we arrived. and uh, I thought they were ducks at first. I did too, but they were actual white swan. They were beautiful. And then up by the bridge, uh, there were at least 100 there. Yeah, I think he told us altogether there were 200 swimming around yes, in that area right uh -huh. there. 
And uh, they were really fun to stand and watch them for quite a while, and we did. Yeah, and I think I uh, had my binoculars. Yeah, Bruce had to go get his binoculars out and watch Uh them. Uh And uh, but they are amazing birds. Watching them diving down into the water, and here's Bruce. Oh, there I am. Yeah. And I am watching swans, by the way. Oh, oh yes. (laughs) And then on our way back, this is amazing here. Coming back, we saw this. It is so funny. The casino sign with the church in the front yard. Someone told me it must be the Holy Roller Church. And here is where Bruce maybe could have got his hair cut. Yeah, not likely, (laughs) though. And everyone told us to go here to the trading post. It's right across from the uh, Custer Battlefield. And we went in. It was really nice. They uh, specialize in Indian fry bread. Yeah, we wanted to eat here. But we didn't because of the pandemic. And it was really, I guess, going strong in the uh, uh, Indian reservation. But once again, we complied with all rules by wearing masks Mm -hmm. there. And it was really very nice uh, kind of a souvenir, more than upscale souvenir store. So we looked around at everything in there, and it was beautiful Indian uh, artifacts and jewelry and everything that they had so this is a definite must stop and the, everyone said the restaurant is delicious so I would recommend that also from all the reviews that we read there were some also some really cool knives and things like that there mm-hmm. uh, it was an interesting store well did we have lemons or lemonade Bruce well Let's see, what is it you do when you have lemonade? Yeah, we had lemonade. (laughs) We sure did. We loved Seventh Ranch RV Park. It was a really nice park. And the Unexpected, actually. Yes, Uh much nicer than I expected. Uh, But we really enjoyed it. And uh, the facilities and everything there was wonderful. Excuse me, there's some mosquitoes here. Uh, Yeah, plus the other great surprise is we got our... Fifth wheel fixed. We had a right blinker that wouldn't work. Yes. And we took it to uh, Kemper World, and they charged me money, but did they fix it? No. No. (laughs) And so uh, we happened to meet a guy here named Lyle. and He's uh, the brother of the owner of the the RV park, and and we would recommend him. I think Lyle can fix anything. Yes. And so we're just uh, sure the Lord sent him, so uh, Mm -hmm. he took care of us. So that was some lemonade. Mm -hmm. And uh, we the reason we came to Gary Owen in the first place is we had scheduled the trip uh, to be there during the reenactment of the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Which, we were really would, excited about that. It would have been terrific. Yes. I mean, it would have been and, great. And uh, that's what the park owners called us about to say that the, um, the uh, Battle of Little Bighorn National Monument, I say it right, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. was closed and the reenactment was not going to happen. And so, um, but the reenactment did not happen, but the park did open up. The park opened and we had a wonderful time in the park. It was amazing. So that is our next video. Mm -hmm. So don't miss that. It was really, really wonderful. Hey, thanks for coming along this time. We just love to have you come. Appreciate you watch so much. Thank you for your questions and comments. And remember, we are the Redhead and the Preacher, full-time RVers from Dallas, Texas. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and you'll be notified of all future videos. Hey, God bless each and every one of you. And remember, may God bless America.